All right, welcome back to another episode of the Tempest Rising podcast. So this week, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to introduce you to a tool from the Limitless program, and it's something that you can also get as part of the Prosperity Pack. Now, it's an incredibly useful tool. It's a journaling document called the Redefinition Tool. And the goal with the tool is to try and garner perspective and to create a shift around an emotionally charged situation and to find an outcome that actually works for you rather than working against you. Because in most emotional situations, we tend to react impulsively. We tend to have knee-jerk reactions. And those are the things that get us in trouble. We tend to formulate stories around things based on our emotions. And more often than not, those stories are not true. They're not factual. And they can lead us down all kinds of roads that are not beneficial and they don't help us get where we want to be. But if you have the ability to challenge your perception and you're forced to confront your stories and find the truth, then you can find the facts and you can act appropriately. You can find a better outcome. If you can combine that with the emotional clearing breath technique that we also give you inside the prosperity pack, you've got a really incredible combination that can be used daily to keep you on track or when life happens and you find yourself in a situation that needs a bit of guidance. Now, questions are a powerful thing. They're a way of exploring things, but you've got to do it the right way. So there's a quote from Tony Robbins that says the quality of your questions creates a quality life um, or something along those lines. And I don't agree entirely. I believe that it's the quality of your thoughts, your feelings and your actions that affect the quality of your life. But those three variables can be enhanced through the use of questions and self-inquiry. So it's really useful to be able to ask the right questions so that you can draw out the correct answers. Now, I'm going to show you the document in a moment and we'll go through it and then I'll talk you through how you can actually get hold of the document. If you're listening to this on the podcast rather than watching it live, I would urge you to head over to the Project Tempest Facebook page and then you'll actually be able to see a visual of this and you'll be able to see the, um, the document. So I'm going to drop this into a screen share now. Ah, We've got Raj with us. Hi, Raj. Good morning. Hope you are well. So let's get this little screen share on the go. It's very early over here in uh, in the UK at the moment. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. So let's get this on the go. So you should be able to see my screen right now. This is the redefinition tool. So it's a tool for perspective. So when we use this tool, we start with getting context around the situation. We need to understand what's happened, what's triggered us emotionally, what's caused this response. So that's what part one is all about. It's all about getting some context. So we can write down what happened, okay? Our version of what has happened. And then we go on to talk about how that makes us feel. And this is where you can get everything out, you know, completely unedited. Nobody's gonna see it. You can write whatever you like and get all of your feelings, all of your emotions out on paper. You can be as explicit as you like because nobody's gonna see it. This is your opportunity to start creating an emotional shift and to start moving things by putting them on paper. Once you've done that, then you need to start thinking about why it actually matters, why this situation has an impact on you, what the implications will be. So this is where we start to look at things a little bit deeper. We've gotten out the emotions, we've explained what has happened, we've gotten annoyed with the people, the situation, whatever it is, and we've, we've got it out, we've started to change the energy around it. This is where we start to consider what the implications of this might actually be, and you can list them out. Then we start to question whether there is validity in what we're saying. Is it really true? Are the questions you've just, uh, sorry, are the answers you've just written above true? What are the implications? Is there truth to that? Yes, no, or maybe. You might put yes if you're highly emotionally charged and you're really, you know, believing the story that you've told yourself about this situation, you might put yes, which is why we have a secondary question to 
ask you if you're really sure about that. In most instances, you're going to end up putting no here. Sometimes you'll put yes, um, but a lot of the time you'll end up putting no. If you do happen to say yes and you are adamant that what you think is happening is happening, then I'm going to ask you to prove it. You've got to supply three pieces of evidence to prove the story that you are telling, to prove that what you're saying is true. And if it's aligned with what you believe has happened um, and what the implications of that will be. This is where you actually really have to start to slow down and to think and to consider because finding three pieces of evidence to prove a false story is actually very difficult. When you've completed that, we move into part two, which is where we start to clarify everything. It's where we start to think about how we actually feel about it. Now that we've considered, is this really true? And how can I prove that? How do I feel about it now? Maybe you've disproved it. Maybe you have proved it. It all depends on the situation and you won't know until you've actually completed the questions. But now you've got to really think about it. Now that you've calmed down, you've started to question, how do you feel about it? And what do you want from it? What would be the ideal outcome of this? And then why do you want that? Knowing why you want something is incredibly powerful. Whenever you do any kind of goal setting work, you want to be asking why. Why do I truly want that? What is the emotional driving force behind that? Why? Why is one of the most powerful questions? And then into part three, you're called to consider what you've learned from this, what you can take away from it. What are the benefits of this situation? Because if you've ever watched the perspective video I did that was particularly popular, I talk about finding the good in every single situation, that there's always something to be taken from, something to be drawn out. There is always a lesson behind whatever is happening. And this is where we start to draw that out. So we ask you, what have you learned from this? And how can you apply that to your life? Then we go a step further and we consider what we can actually do today to make that a useful experience. So rather than sitting and stewing in anger or getting annoyed or getting upset with something that's happened, we can separate ourselves from it and we can draw something useful from it. We can take a lesson away, we can come to a conclusion and then we can take that lesson and we can apply it to enhance our lives rather than letting situations create turmoil and create chaos okay so there's always a way of finding something good within any situation and this tool allows you to do that it asks you the right questions so i'm just going to stop the screen share now so this tool is incredibly powerful incredibly powerful and when you combine it with the breath work and the emotional clearing um, technique, which is also in the prosperity pack, it can take your mindset to the next level. And as with anything, one tool alone is not enough to change your life. You know, you need a series of tools, you need some proper training, but it will certainly make a difference and it's a really good place to start. So if you want a copy of this, just hit the link that's in the description and then I can send you the full prosperity pack. You will get this tool plus the emotional um, clearing technique, which comes on three videos for you. It's a mini series. Plus you'll also get the prosperity playbook, which outlines all the things that you don't really wanna be doing if you want to live a better life. So it will really help you shift your paradigm about what it means to live a better life and have you look at your own life. So to get a copy, just hit that link and I'll send that through to you. Um, on Saturday, we're gonna be doing a Q&A in the Limitless Living group. So if you have any burning questions around mindset, emotions, energy, um, your physical wellness, anything along those lines, just let me know and I'll invite you into the group and then I can cover your questions on Saturday. But that is everything for this week. Hit that link, grab your copy of that tool and let me know your experiences with it. Give it a go and let me know what you think. I'll see you all very soon. Have an excellent Wednesday.